talking about morally great characters versus villains. We're also going to be talking about what a mo morally great character is and is not. Um, purely because I, me and a lot of my other colleagues have begun to notice that morally gray, sorry, seems to be getting more and more confusing <laughs> to the point where they're like, they're morally gray. And I'm like, no, they're just straight up evil. <laughs> so we're going to talk about what is morally gray and what isn't morally gray. Um, before I start, I'm also going to reiterate that we have a spring contest going on. Um, please keep in mind that it will uh, be running until May 31st. You've made until May 31st to get it done. The prompt is write a fantasy short story about someone walking through a meadow and something strange happens to them. So from there, it is up to you. <laughs> many, many ways to go about that. All right, first we're gonna talk about morally gray. Um, morally gray has several different levels. So I'm gonna first talk about the levels, then we're gonna do examples of each one. Um, First version of morally gray, does good things for the wrong reasons, usually for selfish reasons, where they're actually doing it to serve themselves, but then it just so happens to also help a bunch of other people along the way. That's definitely morally gray, because it could be construed as they're doing good things and that they're morally good, but because they're not doing them in the name of doing good, they're not necessarily a good person. <laughs> um, the next one is they do anything to help themselves gain power, um, sometimes, again, like the prior one, this happens to help others, but not always. Um, with morally gray and wanting power, um, oftentimes they'll have their weird lines where they'll be like, I won't do this, but I will do this. You know, and it'll be weird stuff like, I won't kill animals, but I will kill people. And you're like, that's a weird line. <laughs> so they're morally gray in the regard that they're doing bad things, but they won't do even worse things, question mark? Um, that's where it gets weird. <laughs> I think that's why morally gray gets confusing, because they are confusing. Um, next is morally ambiguous. This is when you don't really know what their morals are. They sometimes do good things, they sometimes do bad things, and you really can't even tell what their motives are. You just know they sometimes do good things and they sometimes do bad things. Um, eventually, you generally figure out what their motives are and they're explained very well, but not always. Sometimes they are still vague, um, even right up until the end of their arc. Um, the next thing uh, that I wanted to talk about with Morally Gray is they do wrong things for the right reasons. So this is, for example, when like a superhero will say, you know, this villain should go to jail because that's the law. But if they go to jail, they could get out of jail, so I'm just going to kill them. <laughs> and you're like, okay, murder's not acceptable, but I also can see why you're accepted, saying it's acceptable, because they're a terrible person. <laughs> and they're going against the law and murdering and stealing and all these things. And you're like, hey, I don't want that person to get out of jail. Because sometimes people do get out of jail. Sometimes people even get out of jail before getting in jail, because they have a really heckin' good lawyer. And so sometimes there are superheroes that are morally gray because what they do, instead of following the law and instead of putting them in prison, they just say, well, I don't trust prison, I don't trust the law, so die <laughs> to the evil villain person. That's morally gray because technically they should be having them go to prison, but also now there's not an evil person running around. So <laughs> you see it both ways. Um, with moral, what morally gray is not. Morally gray is not an excuse to manipulate people um, in the name of just being a manipulator. Like, I can understand if they're manipulating people to do good things or in their mind, uh, or to get more power, but then they're like doing it in a way that benefits them too. Um, sure, but that's, where I, that's why it's such a gray area. <laughs> is because with morally gray, you don't want them being a toxic, abusive, manipulative person. That's not good. Um, if they're just like, I'm gonna stab this person because I think they're a bad person. That's not morally gray. Now, if they have proof they're a bad person, like for example, their daughter died because they kill, they, uh, the villain killed their daughter, that's proof they're a bad person, right? But if you just kill them because you think maybe they killed your daughter, that's not okay. <laughs> That's definitely concerning and not a, and actually a problem. Or if um, the morally gray person is like 
being manipulative or abusive towards their lover. That is not acceptable. That is not actually morally great. I don't care if people say it's morally great. It is not. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> so in general, morally gray is when their morals are ambiguous or they're doing good things for the wrong reasons or wrong things for the right reasons. But if they're just doing wrong things, that's not morally gray. That's just evil. Um, <laughs> which is why we're going to talk about villains um, as well today. First, though, we're going to give um, examples of what morally gray characters look like. Um, so doing good things for the wrong reasons, generally, selfishly. A uh, great example of this is good old Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> um, even if you haven't seen um, the Pirates of the Caribbean, generally everyone knows that Captain Jack Sparrow is a mayhem causing chaos, re uh, chaos wreaking being. But the reason he causes so much mayhem and havoc is because of the fact that he just wants his gold, he just wants his booze, <laughs> you know, he wants what he wants. However, if he happens to, you know, need to get said golden booze and live and be free and he has to put other people in harm's way to do so, he will, 100%. <laughs> um, but he will also do good things if it helps him. If, for example, um, uh, spoiler if you haven't seen the movies, but in one of the movies they're voting who should be the pirate king, the acting pirate general slash king. And he actually ends up not voting for himself and voting for someone else because of the fact that he realizes they need a leader in order to survive. So he's like, hey, I want to survive. Therefore, I'm gonna vote for someone else aside from myself, because everyone's voted for themselves so far. So even though it seems not selfish, it seems like a good thing, he is 100% doing it in a selfish light. <laughs> he is doing it for his own gain. Um, he does a lot of bad things for his own gain too, but because he does good things, a lot of people see him as a hero. That's what makes him morally gray because he seems like a hero because he's doing these good deeds, but he's doing these good deeds inadvertently purely just because he wants to be free, living, have gold, have his booze, etc. cetera. Um, if, oh, oh, the whole series would be very different if honestly he actually was a good person, because uh, he's not. <laughs> he is a very much a morally great person where he's just doing it for himself. <laughs> he just wants other people to uh, appreciate him. Um, so, the next one we're going to talk about is doing anything they want to help them gain power. Um, sometimes this just so happens to help others in the process. Great example of this, Loki. <laughs> he very much is a manipulator, he very much is sly, he very much just wants what he wants and wants power, you know? He's willing to, you know, sh <laughs> wreak havoc and do an um, so, uh, send aliens to Earth and slaughter a bunch of people, right? However, what makes him morally gray is the fact that if someone said, hey, I'll give you all the power in the world if you just be a good person, he'd 100% do it. <laughs> it's about power for him. The lore of power is what's making him do things, not necessarily a morally right or wrong compass. He thinks what he's doing is right. In that regard, a lot of people might see him as a villain. The reason he is on the morally gray scale is because of the fact that he um, would do both good and bad in order to achieve his goals, not just bad. Whereas with villains, it's generally, I will do anything and destroy anyone to achieve my goal. Whereas for Loki, he's like, okay, I will destroy anything, but I do have my limits, and if I can do so in a peaceful way, and if I can become more trustworthy of these people, then yes. Um, as the movies go on, he becomes more and more morally gray. He starts as a villain, but he actually becomes morally gray. Again, this is why it's confusing. Because um, <laughs> he definitely starts as a villain. He 100% starts as a villain. He will destroy anything to get power. But then once he realizes that maybe in order to get power, all he needs is to trust other people, he becomes morally gray and realizes, hey, maybe if I'm a good person, people will still like me and give me power and trust me. <laughs> Novel concept, I know, but <laughs> Loki's special. Um, <laughs> we could go on about Loki all day and his crazy um, arc. All right, next we're gonna talk about moral ambiguity. Um, a great example of this is Severus Snape in the Harry Potter series. For a while, you have no idea if he wants Harry Potter dead 
or if he is trying to <laughs> help Harry Potter. Because half the time it seems like he's trying to get him in trouble, and the other half the time it seems like he's trying to save his life. Um, as a result of that, Severus Snape is very much a neutral character. He is neither necessarily trying to help Harry Potter, nor is he trying to hurt him. He is just trying to keep him alive when necessary and punish him when he thinks he's being stupid. <laughs> but as a result, this gives him a moral ambiguity because instead of being whole hog for Harry Potter or fully against Harry Potter, he is just on his own side, completely neutral. All right, the next one for moral ambiguity that I'm going to mention is Kylo Ren. Again, this he starts as a villain, but he becomes more morally gray because of the fact that you realize he doesn't necessarily want to do all these bad things. He's doing all these bad things because he feels like he has to do these bad things. And once he realizes, I don't have to do these bad things, he starts becoming a better person. Hello. I shall let you sit down before I continue. <laughs> morally ambiguous characters. We've talked about several types now. The next one we're going to talk about is doing wrong things for the right reasons. Um, a great example of this is Venom from the Marvel series. Um, Venom, for those of you who don't know the movie, is very much a character um, where technically there's a parasite living inside him that likes to eat people. That's concerning. Generally we put him on the villain list. However, he only eats bad people. <laughs> As a result, he's on the morally ambiguous list because normal people would say, that's still wrong. But he's like, well, if they're a serial killer, technically it's not wrong, <laughs> which is what puts him on a morally ambiguous path rather than a more problematic villain path. <clears throat> but it's also what doesn't make him a true hero. It makes him a morally gray hero instead of a I fight for truth and justice always, you know. He's very much a, I'm just trying to survive while also doing good things <laughs> type of person. Um, another great example of doing the wrong things for the right reasons is Winter Soldier slash Bucky um, from Captain America. He very much was manipulated by the government, right? And so as a result, he has a very dark side because lots of bad things happen to him. Um, as a result, he sees it as people who were bad and would do bad things to him deserve to die. Um, is that necessarily true? Should we trust the justice system and let, let people go to prison? Absolutely, but you also can see why, as a person who was manipulated heavily um, by bad people, why he would say, nope, just die. <laughs> Which is very much morally ambiguous because normally you'd say, okay, the, the lack of trust in um, both government and in other people is a bad sign, generally a villain arc. But because he's doing it for the right reasons, he just wants people to be protected, he wants them to be safe, even if that means killing bad people, um, which killing people is never good, <laughs> that's what makes him morally gray. Again, um, we're not going to talk about villains, mainly because these two get confused, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, but we're going to reiterate why it gets confusing. Um, so. Villains. They think they are the hero, and, but what they want actually isn't good. Now this is where it gets confusing, because a lot of people are like, oh well they think they are the hero and they're doing um, the wrong thing for the right reasons, isn't that morally gray? Yes, but if you're doing the wrong thing for the wrong reasons, but you think you're right, that doesn't make it morally gray. Just because you think you're right, it's still wrong, unless it actually is right, which is why it gets confusing. <laughs> so what is the difference between what is right and what isn't right then? Well, let's talk examples. Um, Thanos. <laughs> Big example in the Marvel series where he thinks he is the hero, but killing off a ton of people in the name of saving the galaxy isn't actually a good thing. <laughs> it's not. Um, and I know a lot of people argue overpopulation, blah, 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 blah. Let's not get into politics. Um, point is, murdering people, bad. Um, especially the way he did it. Because it wasn't like, I'm going to murder all the bad people to prevent overpopulation. I'm going to murder people at random. So it's somehow better. 
that's not better. <laughs> that is definitely not better. How is that better? <laughs> Just squints and confusion. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what makes morally gray and villain different. Morally gray person. John dies. <laughs> exactly. A morally gray person would say, hey, um, I'm going to only kill the bad people in order to fix this problem. A villain would say, I'm just going to kill whoever the heck I want to fix this problem. Um, that's what makes them a villain versus morally great. Another great example, um, another great example is, sorry, I actually lost it. <laughs> so we're going to move on. Um, the, another example of a villain that could be construed as morally gray is when they are doing wrong because they like power slash mayhem. Now this may seem like Loki, but I mentioned Loki earlier and you'll notice that I said he wants to gain power, but he also doesn't necessarily want to hurt people. He only hurts people if he ha feels he has to. He generally tries to avoid it, right? Does that make him a good person? No, <laughs> he's not. But that's what makes him morally gray because he tries very hard to do the pacifist route. And then if the pacifist route doesn't work, that's when then he starts he murdering people. <laughs> yes, that's when he starts murdering people and causing problems. Um, but he tries pacifism first, and that's what makes him morally great, because a true villain would just say, I'm going to murder you all, and then you will listen to me, <laughs> rather than, I will try to get you to listen to me, and then if you don't, I will murder you all. Yeah, if you <laughs> notice, Loki is like, threats, and like, whenever he is like, hey, can I just yeah. kill you now? He's always very polite. No, for sure. He's, when he's, he's trying not... to kill someone. He's not, it, that's the funny thing. Whereas with a villain, it's just like, I will stab you now. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, in general, it's about the mentality. So, a great example of people who like doing wrong thing, uh, like doing, the, are doing wrong because they like power slash mayhem are uh, Azula from <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> Where it's like, okay, there is liking power and then there's, Insanity. <laughs> Where she's like, I will kill anyone, I will kill anything, I will kill my own brother and myself in order to gain power. And you're like, okay, too far. <laughs> just stop, this. just breathe. Um, <laughs> so, Air is good. <laughs> just okay. Um, but yeah, so as a result, that's what makes it villain versus morally gray. For example, Zuko would be a great, another great example to mention uh, for morally gray slash ambiguous because for a while you can't tell what his morals are. And so he is morally gray because he's morally ambiguous. He then becomes a hero, but he starts out as morally gray very much. Um, whereas his sister, straight up from the beginning, she's like, will murder anyone for power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no questions. Um, so another one we're going to talk about with villains that can be confusing is vengeance against the hero. So they think they are doing the right thing. But again, with morally gray, it's they think they are doing the right thing. And if you turn your head and squint, you can see how it's the right thing. Whereas with a villain, you turn your head and squint and go, no, that's still messed up. <laughs> that's still wrong. Um, a great example of vengeance against the hero is the spot in the newest uh, mm. Spider-Man into Spider-Verse series, where he's like, you are the worst, and I just hate your guts because you ruined my life. And it's like, okay, but do you need to ruin everyone else's life in order to get vengeance? Can't you just say, hey, you ruined my life, like, let's fix this, you know, let's get help? No, it's just murder everyone because you suck. Um, <laughs> that makes you a villain. He might have been morally gray if he just like tried to only hurt him. But he wasn't trying to only hurt him. He was didn't care who got hurt in mm -hmm. the process of trying to get at Niles. That being said, another great example is Cheetah from Wonder Woman, specifically the 1984 version that just came out a little bit ago. And when I say 1984, they called it 1984, not came out in 1984, confusingly enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But the reason um, she became much more of that, even though in the comics she had some of that, um, in the live action movie that they recently did, she was much more um, doing it against a perceived slight because Wonder Woman was just being herself. You know, she's smart, she's pretty, she just is being herself. However, Cheetah then sees it as, I've been trying my whole life to be smart and pretty and I can never be smart and pretty as you, so die. <laughs> and it's like, okay, hold on. Where'd the so die come from? Um, like, 
Hold, wait, hold, mm, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> but anyway, um, so with that being said, that's what makes it morally gray versus a villain. Um, I could understand, you know, be feeling like you want vengeance against someone if you feel like they hurt you. Yes, but is that actually okay? No. That's where, that's where the line is crossed, from morally gray, I am hurt, therefore I want to hurt you, but doesn't, to I will hurt you, <laughs> I will murder you, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and you're like, okay, too far. Um, so I can understand why these two can be very confusing um, at first glance. There is a lot of similarities, but that doesn't mean that morally gray and villain are the same Thing. Um, you might see a lot of people say they are a morally gray character and they are just a villain, um, but that's mainly because it's gotten really confusing. The definition has gotten confusing, but this is the original definition, <laughs> the classic definition that honestly people should follow because if you call someone morally gray who's a serial killer, I don't think that's actually acceptable. Um, <laughs> not something we should be condoning in society, but maybe that's just me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would Just a thought. <laughs> but hey. Um, are there any other either examples you guys would like to talk about or questions you have where you're like, someone said this is morally gray, is this actually morally gray? Um, just because, like I said, this can this has gotten to be a very muddled topic. <laughs> so I thought it'd be a fun one to debate about. Would you which one? Hence the term gray. Exactly. It's so gray that we've gotten confused. <laughs> that society is like, what is morally gray? What is a villain? Shrugs. Which one's morally gray or a villain? Morally gray. <laughs> Sorry, what do you ask? Do you French words? Um, whether he's morally oh, or villain. He's definitely morally gray because yeah, yeah. honestly, deep down, he doesn't want to hurt anyone. Yeah. <laughs> like, if he genuinely wanted to murder everyone, that would be different. He but would. He, he would, and he would too. But he's like, he just wants to take over the tri state area, and he keeps doing so in ways that honestly are pretty pacifist. Like, he chooses <laughs> City Hall. Yeah, exactly. And like, tries to wrap it in foil and things yeah. like that. Like, these are all very pacifist ways of trying to get power. If anything, I'd almost see him like a Loki character, where like he does anything he can to help himself gain power, mm -hmm. but he, that doesn't necessarily mean he has to murder everyone. Yeah. <laughs> um, any other characters or questions that you're kind of like, on this topic, interested about? I'll give you all a minute to think. Any thoughts? <laughs> Since I've given you guys a minute. Okay, that's okay. I just figured if there were questions about, like, is this character morally gray or villain, it'd be fun to debate. I like mm -hmm. being able to just talk about things openly and be like, hey, where do they sit? <laughs> um, but yeah, if we're all good on that, though, then um, we can move on to writing time. Uh, again, we have a contest that is due on May 31st. Um, the minimum word count is 1,500 words, but you can go as high as 6,000. Um, and it's, uh, the prompts are out there, and I said it at the beginning for those of you who are watching the video, so go back to the beginning if you forgot. <laughs> All right, if you guys have any um, questions or comments about morally gray or villains, uh, please let me know. <laughs>